Kia ora everybody, Chris Bahi here from the Bailey's Insights and Data team. I've got Anku Dakwali and this video will be giving you a quick update on the latest conditions in the New Zealand housing market as we enter the month of June 2023. So first off Anku, we had the latest REINZ housing market statistics for April 2023. Um, so what did we learn in those? Yeah, so we had about 4,262 homes sold in April 2023. This is about 15% lower than April 2022. So a reasonably quiet month, uh, you know, due to difficult weather and holidays impacting this. So what you focus on to prices, so the New Zealand median house price increased slightly over the month, going from 777000 up to 780000 And that was actually the third month in a row that we've seen rises in that median house price. But so Anker, 780000 what can we actually buy around New Zealand for that price? Yeah, so up in Auckland, you could have bought 59B Redwood Drive in Massey. So this is four bedroom, two bathrooms near New Terrace Home, and this was sold by Jeb and Matt from Bailey's in Northwest. Down in Hastings, you could have bought 20F Tamoana Road in Mahora. This is a modern three bedroom, two bathroom home sitting on 610 square meters. And this was sold by Caleb Robinson from Bailey's in Havelock North. And down in the South Island, you could have bought 6 Aotearoa Street in Pegasus, just north of Christchurch. This is a modern three bedroom, two bathroom home sitting on 593 square meters. This was sold by Dean Cashins and Sam Falvey from Bailey's in Preston. Yeah, so good selection there, Anker. Um, big question for you if you're watching, which one of those three properties would you have purchased? Would you go for Massey in Auckland, Mahora in Hastings, or Pegasus in Canterbury? And um, give us a little comment about why you choose them as well. And so if you look at that median house price for New Zealand, that's been trending up over the past couple of months. Um, but Anker, if we look at the regions, we actually get slightly different results. Um, so what do the house price indices tell us at the moment? Yeah, so the house price indices is useful because they adjust for quality of homes, so which helps remove any bias that you might see in the medians. If you look at those indices, you'll see that most regions were slightly down uh, or flat over the past month, although there was a slight rise in Otago. So if you look at those house price indices, there were some areas that were experiencing small drops. On the positive side though, those reductions were a lot smaller than what we saw at the start of the correction, where particularly the Auckland and Wellington regions were moving pretty quickly down, um, but they're getting into a much more stable space now. Getting close to the coalface, our agents around the country are generally reporting increases in buyer inquiries coming through, although in some regions they are seeing lower levels of good properties uh, coming to the market to be listed for sale, and that's going to probably slow down some of that sale activity as well, just with buyers struggling to find good properties to actually purchase. That said, Anker, over the past month we did have some pretty interesting um, items in the media around some of the properties that were getting listed. A good example is we had Chris Mangles from Bailey's in Akaroa for his listing of 73 Rue Lavaud in Akaroa. Now what's pretty cool about this is this was a former BNZ building and one of Akaroa's most recognizable buildings as well. Commercial is on the ground floor and it's got separate accommodation upstairs. And Chris, we had some media coverage in Northland as well. Yeah, so we had a pretty interesting example up in Northland with an Auckland based couple going on I guess a mini shopping spree and purchasing two waterfront properties up in Northland for a total of 7.55 million. Um, this was also pretty exciting because it was a good team effort across Bailey's. So we had Jude Copland from Bailey's Whangarei, we had Mike Barrett from Bailey's Bream Bay, and we had Gary and Vicky Wallace from Bailey's Remuera all working together to help that couple achieve their goals. So um, yeah, pretty exciting little outcome there. Now it's fair to say if you take the big picture on the market, conditions have been reasonably soft over the past 18 months. Um, two of the big factors that we've seen, particularly in the media, have been the downward trend on prices and also the uncertainty around where interest rates might go to. Now, if you look at those price indices from the start of the video, there's still that downward trend in prices, but it's fair to say that it's slowed down quite a bit. And the recent movements, particularly in places like Auckland and Wellington, have actually been pretty minor. And so we're getting some sense that prices are stabilising and we're also seeing more buyer inquiry coming through. Um, interest rates though have been a little bit of a talking point. So um, Anker, what are we seeing in that space? So last year there were concerns of interest rates raging out of control, but what you can see in the last six months is that your short-term interest rates, like your one-year mortgage rates, have been rising with the OCR. But if you look at the longer-term interest rates, like your five-year uh, residential mortgage rates, they've actually been trending downwards. Now we take that as a good indicator that interest rates are getting more in control. That said, the latest budget uh, and the latest migration statistics might put a bit more pressure on the interest rates. Yeah, and so economists are viewing the latest budget that was announced by the government as probably being inflationary because of 
it was putting a bit more spend into the market. Um, one of the other big sleeper trends that's been flowing through the economy has also been the change in migration patterns. And so during COVID, we saw a net loss of people out in New Zealand. Um, but over this year, we've actually seen net gains with um, total net gains of around 64,000 people arriving into New Zealand, um, which is pretty exciting. Um, now, Anko, where are those people mainly coming from? Yeah, so a lot of these people are coming from the Philippines, India, China, and South Africa. My commentators have been downplaying this trend uh, so far because residents from these countries are unlikely to buy a house immediately due to the foreign buyer bans. This is likely to put more pressure on the rental market. And so that's pretty interesting in terms of some of the building blocks for I guess what might be the next cycle. So we've got this return to migration coming through, um, pressure in the rental market. The sort of working theory is that that's going to put more pressure on first home buyers to buy, um, to get out of the rental market. And we've also got the stabilising of interest rates which should help take away some of that headwind as well. Um, so look with that said we'll wrap it up here so thanks very much Anku. Thanks Chris. And we'll see you next time. See ya. Yeah.